Okay, if you're having fuel problems like I am with the vacuum fuel pump, then it might be time to change it to an electric one. Some days it works fine, other days it don't work very good at all, just like you're running out of gas. I've changed vacuum fuel pumps before and actually made it worse. This is the new one, supposed new one. If I put it on there, they actually made it worse. So I switched back to the back to the old one. So I'm just gonna go with the electric fuel pump. I got this one on eBay. It's a low volume, low pressure fuel pump, 12 volt. I think it puts out about four to five pounds of pressure. So it's real low pressure. And you need this what's a quarter inch size. I'll put a link down below where I got this fuel pump at. But today we're gonna to install this in the G29 golf cart. So I've already connected this up temporarily and it works much better. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a electric fuel pump and a good string of wire preferably red we're going to run this up front where the switches are and the key is yeah this is around let's see around 12 or 13 dollars it wasn't very much at all it's got this little built-in brace on it i started this project yesterday i already got the air box off and all that but we'll continue today where i'm at now it took me a while to figure out where in the world am I going to mount this thing at. So I'll show you how we're going to do it today. So enough rambling on. Let's uh, let's get to the golf cart. Let's get this put in. Okay, right here's where the other where the vacuum fuel pump goes. Right here, I pull that off. I've already got all the air box and all that taken off. So I figured I'd record this in case somebody wanted to do this exact same thing. So here's the electric fuel pump. So what we're going to do, we're going to we're going to mount it. You can mount it on one side or the other of this plate right here. I'd like to take this plate plumb off, but I don't want to disassemble the whole golf cart to get it off. You got to take this I've already taken this plate off and it won't, it's not mounted to that. I was wanting to take it out of there. It won't bend or nothing, it's pretty solid. And there's a not enough there to mount it to it. And also the way these bolts are made. See these bolts bolt through, coming this way. And these bolts don't come with it, you'll have to find some. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna mount it out here. You can mount on this side, just make sure you don't get too close to your shifter parts here. Or we can mount over here on this side. Either side will be fine. I think uh, I think right here would be about the best place. Okay, you'll have it just about right there. And I think just before we bolt it on, we're gonna, gonna connect up the, the gas lines. I think it'll make it easier that way. So we're gonna get a drill and we're gonna drill some holes here. You gotta drill them through your, your front here. You'll just have two bolts sticking out here. But that's what you gotta do in order to, in order to have it to work. So we'll get a, we're going to drill a small hole first. And I have to find my bolts that goes with it. Okay, here's the bolts that I got for it. So we're going to take that and put it where we want it. I've already got the wire connected to it. Make it easier to get it done now. Just put it. 
just bump it right up next to it. Okay. That's one hole. We'll take out that drill bit. Now we'll go find a couple. Go find a drill bit that's about the same size as your as your bolt. Okay, here's a drill bit that's about the same size as my bolt. Okay, now we're gonna I guess we could just drill it from the front. Okay, that was a quick and easy. Okay, it won't quite fit in there, so we're going to stick it back in there again. Take out a little bit more. I'll see if I can find some washers to put on that. Okay, on this fuel pump, this here is going to be your out right here. This is going to be your out. So this will go to this hose right here. It's just going to line up good. I wish it was more straight. I guess I could cut it off, but I like that little part right there. It keeps it from slipping off. So we got, got our bolt coming through here. Okay, that was the second hole. Okay, I didn't tighten down the top bolt very tight. Get the bottom one in first. Okay, get this hose on there. This hose right here. Pretty tight fit. Yeah, it's so much easier putting these lines on first. Okay, now we'll try it. Okay, that's on her good. Okay, now we gotta run the wire. We're going to find a bolt that came out of the, the old fuel pump. And that's going to be our ground. See, here's the bolt that come out of the old fuel pump. Just stick it through the eyelet there. And bolt it back down where it was at. That looks like a good, good ground because it goes right to the frame. And that ground and wire is pretty short. So it ought to work. Okay, that should take care of the ground part. I wonder if we shouldn't just try it out right here real quick. I put a couple bolts here on the carburetor, shove it up. 
put the put that wire over there on the battery and see if that thing will start make sure everything is going to be okay before we go any further because I don't have to tear it back down again so I'm going to get some bolts to go on the front of that carburetor to hold it back okay let's see if the fuel pump is going to work now okay kind of noisy wow Sound like a V8. Pretty noisy, Ben. It's mounted right to the right to the plastic here. Okay, I guess that's gonna have to work. Maybe it won't be quite so noisy once I get the top on there. So now we gotta run the wire up to the to the front. We're gonna tie the run this wire. We gotta pull out all this all this matting here, and we're gonna bring it all the way up into here. So I'll start taking all the matting out. And I'll be back shortly. This end of it, we got the the matting pulled back. We don't have it completely out. We got the bottom bottom plate pulled out. We got the wire coming through this little channel right here. That's where we're at so far. We're going down and over, then up into the up there where the keyway is. So I figured I better turn on the camera before I got too far ahead of myself. So you see how I'm coming along on it. Yeah, we'll just run it through that. It's already ran through the channel there. Now I just zip tie it on around and go up through. So we're making progress. Ready to get this thing put back together. Okay, I just cut a big chunk of that wire off of there. I kind of know how much I'm going to need now. I just got to go up to the center console here. So all that wire out of the way, we're just going to see if we can't just run it through the zip ties here. They're not too tight here. Let's see, run it through that one there. That way you don't have to put in more zip ties. If you can get by doing that. Yeah, I think we'll put one zip tie right here in the corner here. Okay.
Now I got to run it right behind the gas pedal there. Okay, now we're going to pull out this center screw here. Where we get down to the down to the switch down there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a light of some kind shine down through there. Okay, I gotta get this wire up through there. Somehow. Okay, I got across there. So we're done here. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't button this up. Put this plate back on. Just put in that bottom plate right there. See the wires going under it? I'm going to put this mat back over the top of it. Without trying to rip it up. Yeah, I've taken that mat out a few times. Okay, here's a red wire coming up through the dash here. We're going to get this air box put on real quick. Okay, this goes right down over the carburetor. This little vacuum line that went onto the fuel pump, we need to put a little screw or something in there and plug it off so it won't be sucking up anything. Okay, we'll get the air filter in there. You got two 10 millimeters back here and behind here we got to get. Get the top put on that. Snap all these back in. Okay, here's the fuel pump way over here. Got the red wire running across and down. Got zip tied along the way. Everything looks good so far. That's on the motor side of it. Now you see that fuel pump sits right back in there real nice. Here's your fuel filter here. So as soon as I get that red wire hooked up, we're gonna be done. Okay, it's been a few days now. Storm's passed. Beautiful day in late November. So here's our here's our wire coming from the fuel pump. That we got it come up through. Now we're gonna go ahead and I decided to go ahead and tie it in with the key. Because you'll be able to hear it when it comes on. Just disconnect it from the back of the switch there's a little see it's a little push button there you pull it off of there okay what we're going to do we're going to take and strip some of this tape back strip it back enough just to put this part here on this is a little connector that you that you can put on there one of the wires run through and the other one don't. It's just a splice connector. If you don't have one of these, you can just splice right into it. 
and then you can solder it and tape it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and strip that back. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Being as I have this connector already on there, I'm gonna have to cut that one off. I did have it connected into the switch on the radio. I had that on there temporarily. The the switch on the top up here turns on the radio. But I uh, I decided not to put it there. I decided to go ahead and just go ahead and connect it into the switch. I think it'll be better that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip that back and be back in a couple. Okay, I got that wire stripped back. We're gonna cut this one off. Maybe. Okay, on your on your wire down here that goes to your switch, you have a red one. And you have a brown one. Hope you can see that. Red one or brown one? Okay, the red one is hot all the time. You want to connect it to your brown one. Brown one is keyed. That way when you turn the key on, the fuel pump will come on. I done checked it, made sure I didn't want to connect to the red one, have it running all the time. So now we'll get our our little part. We can run, put this part on there. This one will run, run through it. And then this here will go in the top of it. Okay, I'm gonna put this one in there first. Gotta make sure it bottoms all the way out to the bottom. That way this piece right here will crimp down on it okay that looks good now we'll get our and connect to the brown wire on the side here maybe I ought to flip this run down the other way where this wire is not in the way here okay see I got that in there now Now we gotta do is crimp down on that. And I got some vice grips to get that done. Crimp down on that good. Okay, that got crimped. Okay, now we got it crimped good. That's all connected good. So now we'll plug it into the switch down here. Okay, snap, and the fuel pump should come on. There you go. Fuel pump, come on. So now we can start putting all this back together. Okay, I'll get a screwdriver and get that screwed down. Okay, that was the radio.
Okay. Now the keys. Keys working the fuel pump now. So now we're done. That's how you. That's how you connect the electric fuel pump to your Yamaha golf cart. And don't forget, it's the brown wire that's key. You don't want to connect it to the red wire. You gotta strip your wire, strip your tape back. Other than that, pretty easy job. Okay, thanks for watching.